welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. And the topic of this week, we're going to be talking about how the mind and the thoughts will keep you away from experiencing your true self, which is true love. Um, as always, uh, we're going to start with the meditation. Uh, those of you who are for the first time with me, um, keep in mind that we have to uh, mute everybody because uh, individual devices, they make funny noises or there's background in the houses or apartments. So that's going to affect our broadcasts. So we're going to put, we're going to mute everyone. After the meditation, I'm going to talk for a while, and then you can ask me questions. Um, <clears throat> in the meantime, if you want to uh, write a question to me on the chat box, you're welcome to. If you want to talk to me directly, you can wave at me, and I'll unmute you, and we talk, uh, and we get into um, your question. And I try to answer it to the best of my ability. So, for the moment, hi, uh, Eva, you have a question for me right now? I'm going to start getting into my meditation. You have to unmute yourself because I can't unmute you. Can you please higher your volume because I, my computer is on max and I can hardly hear you. All right, I can do it to a certain point before it creates a distortion. Amir, how high is it right now? Is it okay? It's good here. I can hear you. If I go higher, is this, I'm going to the max. Is it creating distortion? Yeah, it's distorted right now. Right, yeah. Uh, Eva, this is as high as I can. You may, you may, uh, you may want to connect the speaker to your computer an external okay. speaker or get yourself a headphone because i can't turn it up higher than okay. that i'm sorry okay. yeah thank you right you're welcome <clears throat> so <clears throat> i like to the purpose of the kind of meditation we do the idea is to help you to go beyond the mind, to go beyond all these busyness and the craziness that is happening in your head. All the noises that you're hearing and it is as if you're in a constant battle and ar argument with an aspect of yourself on daily basis. So, if you desire to have some ice cream and, and you keep hearing something inside you speaking about ice cream and then you go eat the ice cream and then 10-15 minutes after you have a stomach ache and then the same voice was ta trying to talk you into having an ice cream is going to start blaming you. So then you get into this battle of fighting with yourself and arguing with yourself that why you ate the ice cream. So <clears throat> it appears to be that we're continuously are living with another person in our head. Right? Sometimes maybe there's two other people. And these two are in constant conflict with each other. Or there are times that your mind may be your companion and you're talking to yourself that should I be doing this or should I be dyeing my hair blonde or should I go get my nails and then the voice is talking to you is telling you no you shouldn't be doing this you should be doing that or should I go buy something that makes me happy and your mind is going to come and tell you no you shouldn't be doing that because it's too costly. So this thing is happening all the time. It's a continuous um, debate. And what happens is the thought process of what I call the monkey mind 
it, what it does, it, it creates this separation and it cuts you off from the migration from the head to the heart. So instead of living and acting and operating from a place which is very still and quiet within yourself, you end up operating in a world from a place which is chaotic, it's busy, and it's, it's constantly in duality. So when you do the work, when you're doing meditation, or when you are on the right path, let's put it this way, you are on a path of self-awakening. And you are putting the body of work into it. Because again, this part is also not something that just happens overnight. It's something that you have to bring your attention to, or in other words, it grabs your attention and it brings you into this direction. You're sh there's a shift that happens that the utter world, the world outside of you, it creates guilt, shame, it brings your past in your face, and it's telling you you're not worthy, you can't do it, you're not good enough, and blah, 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 blah. And it will link you to your childhood and the part of the stuff that has happened in your past, whether you've been abandoned, you've been sexually abused, or whatever has happened, it drags you into that area. So it is a constant battle in between the two worlds. You can call it the, the world above and the world below. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this heart meditation and after the meditation we're going to be talking about how we can identify this process, this mind process that is continuously keeping you away from the way your natural state of being because your natural state of being is at peace. The natural, natural state of being, of every human being, is being silent and being quiet and being here at their hearts. That's our natural state. And that's what happens to you when you're not engaged with your mind, when you're not engaged with the other world. What happens, peace comes and you become calm and quiet. But then when the mind comes and the thought starts, the stream of thoughts starts to travel in your mind, then you get into trouble because you identify with your thoughts. You believe that what you're thinking and what you're thinking, uh, what you're feeling, what you're thinking and what you're feeling is who you are. And you try to control it and you cannot. So what happens is suffering starts to happen because events are out of your hand and you're trying to control things that you can't and things a lot of times don't go your way. And what it does, it creates suffering. And you go through a life, a whole life of suffering because it's up and down and up and down. When things go your way, you're happy, and when things don't go your way, you're miserable. So there has to be a way out. And the conventional belief is that if I go out there and make enough money, if I get the body that I want, if I get the partner that I want, if I have another car, if I have another house, if financially everything is fine for me, I will be happy. 